the bull called delightful. All deserve respect. Once upon a time, in the country of Gandhara, in northern India, there was a city called Takasila. In that city the enlightenment being was born as a certain calf. Since he was well bred for strength, he was bought by a high-class rich man. He became very fond of the gentle animal, and called him, delightful. He took good care of him and fed him only the best. When Delightful grew up into a big fine strong bull, he thought, I was brought up by this generous man. He gave me such good food and constant care, even though sometimes there were difficulties. Now I am a big grown-up bull and there is no other bull who can pull as heavy a load as I can. Therefore, I would like to use my strength to give something in return to my master. So he said to the man, Sir, please find some wealthy merchant who is proud of having many strong bulls. Challenge him by saying that your bull can pull 100 heavily loaded bullock carts. Following his advice, the high-class rich man went to such a merchant and struck up a conversation. After a while, he brought up the idea of who had the strongest bull in the city. The merchant said, many have bulls, but no one has any as strong as mine. The rich man said, Sir, I have a bull who can pull 100 heavily loaded bullock carts. No, friend, how can there be such a bull? That is unbelievable, said the merchant. The other replied, I do have such a bull, and I am willing to make a bet. The merchant said, I will bet a thousand gold coins that your bull cannot pull a hundred loaded bullet carts. So the bet was made and they agreed on a date and time for the challenge. The merchant attached together one hundred big bullet carts. He filled them with sand and gravel to make them very heavy. The high-class rich man fed the finest rice to the bull called Delightful. He bathed him and decorated him and hung a beautiful garland of flowers around his neck. Then he harnessed him to the first cart and climbed up onto it. Being so high class, he could not resist the urge to make himself seem very important. So he cracked a whip in the air, and yelled at the faithful bull, Pull, you dumb animal. I command you to pull, you big dummy. The bull called delightful thought, this challenge was my idea. I have never done anything bad to my master, and yet he insults me with such hard and harsh words. So he remained in his place and refused to pull the carts. The merchant laughed and demanded his winnings from the bet. The high-class rich man had to pay him the 1,000 gold coins. He returned home and sat down, saddened by his lost bet and embarrassed by the blow to his pride. The bull called Delightful grazed peacefully on his way home. When he arrived, he saw his master sadly lying on his side. He asked, Sir, why are you lying there like that? Are you sleeping? You look sad. The man said, I lost a thousand gold coins because of you. With such a loss, how could I sleep? The bull replied, Sir, you called me, dummy. You even cracked a whip in the air over my head. In all my life, did I ever break anything, step on anything, make a mess in the wrong place, or behave like a, dummy, in any way? He answered, No, my pet. The bull called delightful said, Then sir, why did you call me, dumb animal, and insult me even in the presence of others? The fault is yours. I have done nothing wrong. But since I feel sorry for you, go again to the merchant and make the same bet for 2,000 gold coins. And remember to use only the respectful words I deserve so well. Then the high-class rich man went back to the merchant and made the bet for 2,000 gold coins. The merchant thought it would be easy money. Again he set up the 100 heavily loaded bullet carts. Again the rich man fed and bathed the bull, and hung a garland of flowers around his neck. When all was ready, the rich man touched Delightful's forehead with a lotus blossom, 
having given up the whip. Thinking of him as fondly as if he were his own child, he said, My son, please do me the honor of pulling these one hundred bullet carts. Lo and behold, the wonderful bull pulled with all his might and dragged the heavy carts, until the last one stood in the place of the first. The merchant, with his mouth hanging open in disbelief, had to pay the two thousand gold coins. The onlookers were so impressed that they honored the bull called Delightful with gifts. But even more important to the high-class rich man than his winnings, was his valuable lesson in humility and respect. The moral is, harsh words bring no reward. Respectful words bring honor to all.